Today, I'm going to take you to two of my favorite cherry blossom viewing spots in Tokyo. I'm on a train on the Tokyo Yamanote line. This line is normally very busy as it connects most of Tokyo's major stations like Shibuya and Shinjuku. But today it's okay because it's a weekend and it's not rush hour right now. I love looking out of train windows with the constantly changing scenery, watching the city zoom by and imagine the lives people are leading here. After one more change, I'll get to my stop, Nakano Station. The next station is Takada no Baba, J1 15. There are so many restaurants around Nakano Station. I'm going to have lunch somewhere before going to the Cherry Blossom Street. So I've ended in this small noodle restaurant. It's a pretty standard place at low price. But then I saw the two guys beside me order two of the largest bowls of noodles I've ever seen. I wanted to capture it on camera for you, but felt it was rude to do so. So you just have to believe me when I say these bowls were honestly shockingly huge. And they finished them in like two minutes. I was impressed. I had the standard sized noodles and that was enough for me to walk to the Sakura street with a full belly. Sakura is a Japanese word meaning cherry blossom. It's regarded as Japan's national flower that's held a very permanent position in Japanese culture for centuries. The life of Sakura is very short. They only bloom for about two weeks and then they fall to the ground. If there's a rainy day during the bloom, the flowers fall even more quickly. The length and uncertainty of the flower's life is seen as a metaphor for the ephemeral nature of life. The life is temporary and fleeting. The awareness of impermanence is an important aspect of Japanese culture. The street is about 10 minutes walk from the station, lined with tall cherry blossom trees on both sides of the road. This street has become my favorite circle of viewing place because of a secret spot on the street. Well, it's not that secret. This walking bridge is actually an Instagram hotspot. You can see many photographers on the bridge. They are all waiting for a photo with the cherry blossoms at the exact moment a train goes past to make sure they get those sweet Instagram likes. By the way, don't forget to hit the like button if you're enjoying the video. While I was waiting for the train to come to take this shot with all the right elements, I noticed a Japanese photographer beside me holding an iPad to check train times. He knew when the next train was coming, so whenever he reached his camera to get ready for a shot, I knew a train was approaching so I did the same. Thank you super organized photographer. Okay, I'm done. I quickly googled and found a park close by. I'm gonna have a rest there. Before that, let's get a drink from this vending machine. I love vending machines. They are like gambling machines where you always win. Every time when the drink falls, I feel like I've hit the jackpot. I didn't expect this many people in the park. But I quickly remembered, of course, it's a weekend, and people have come for hanami. Hanami is a Japanese word meaning cherry blossom viewing. It's a spring tradition that people gather under cherry blossom trees for food and drinks. As an introvert, 
I'm happy to say I'm enjoying my solo hanami with my 100% mixed tropical fruit juice. Now I'm heading to Nakamiklu station to meet my friends for dinner. Nakamiklu is another popular spot for circular viewing. Actually, this is probably one of the most popular places for flower viewing in Tokyo. It gets so busy during cherry blossom season. You can only walk really slowly within the crowd of people, especially when circular trees along the river get lit up with pink lights in the evening. You can see many, many circular trees as soon as you get off the train. People are taking photos on the train platform. It's a good photo spot, but you need to be careful with oncoming trains and the crowds. The flowers are in full bloom now. I love the view from this station. I actually think it's nicer looking down from the station than being on the street under the trees. My friends and I are meeting for yakiniku today. Yaki means grill. Niku means meat, so yakiniku means grilled meat. First things first, let's have a kanbai. It seems Japanese people, probably more common for guys, like to start with a pint of beer, and so do I. We have ordered many kinds of Japanese wagyu beef. Wa means Japanese, and gyu means beef or cattle. If you come to a restaurant in Nakamikulu during circular season, don't forget to make a reservation in advance because the area gets incredibly busy during those days. My friend made the reservation today. Thank you, friend. Yakiniku is my favorite food, especially the one that used charcoal to grill. The charcoal creates lots of smoke, but adds a special smoky flavor to the meat. For these thin pieces, you just need to grill them slightly to lock the juice in. The thick pieces need a little bit longer to get the outside crispy. Every piece is super soft. My favorite way of eating is to dip them into lemon juice to balance the grease taste of the fat. Another friend has joined us later on, and so we are having another kanbai. My friend suggested a walk along the river after dinner, as the circular at night is also very nice. The trees get lit up with pink lights. Hanami at night with friends is also a good idea. That's all for today. Bye!